My name is Michael Gombart. I'm here with Nick Rupanga. We're on the slopes of Table Mountain and our topic today is going to be climbing. So the first question we're going to be answering today is, is there a right or wrong way to climb? The answer to that is more, there's an efficient way and there's an inefficient way to climbing. The efficient way to do it would be leaning into the climb, lowering your stride length, so taking shorter strides, and using your arms while also keeping your shoulders open to allow for more oxygen to come in. Taking those on board, you're going to see yourself pushing through the climb a lot easier. Unefficient ways, trying to increase your stride length, trying to push yourself, leaning back. These are all ways that are going to expend more energy, put more strain on the muscle, strain on the joints, and ultimately be costly on your climbs. Our next question is, should we be using trekking poles on steep climbings? I do say yes, especially if you are doing long races like ultras or something more than 40 k's, where there will be so many steep climbs. That will help you, especially on your legs. For you not to use them much, such that where it is runnable, your legs will be still having power to run where it's runnable. So I would say we should use um, trekking poles in steep and long races mainly. But if it's flat and even short distance, I would say we can't use trekking poles. The next question we have is, does the position of my hands and arms affect my uphill running? Your hands and arms are quite important. On your jeep track or graded climbs, your hands and arms should be at your side, helping to keep your chest open, and they work like pistons up and down to keep your movement up the hill. They are also helpful in keeping your momentum and speed up that climb. The other option is when you get a technical climb. In this instance, you can engage your knees as an extra means of pushing off. But once again, posture is important. When leaning forward and using your knees, the palms of your hands pushing off the top of your knees, keeping your posture straight, otherwise you're once again closing off your lungs, slowing the oxygen supply and ultimately becoming more, less efficient on the climb. So our next question is, where should I do power walking or power hiking on steep climbing? If it is just a short steep climbing, you can run. But if it's a very, very long climbing, that is when you can use power walking or power hiking. It could be a bit slower, but on the long run, by the course of the rest, that will help you. Because by walking, you'll be saving energy. When you come to the sections where you can run, you'll be still having that energy to run. So it is important to gauge the speed and the energy you will be having. The next question that we have is, how important is mental attitude when it comes to climbing? Like most things we do, mental attitude is very important. Mental attitude in climbing should be positive. Negative attitudes are not going to help you get up this climb. Positive attitude, seeing the top, visualizing getting to the top, if necessary adding extra encouragement to yourself to get to the top. Look at the climb in segments, break it up bit by bit, slowly but surely every step you take you're getting closer to that top. You'll get there and you have a good downhill to look forward to on the back end of it. Firstly, tell yourself that I can do this here. That's a mental thing. Secondly, put yourself in a, a rhythm that's gonna take you through that hill. Just have one rhythm, the movement of your arms, look forward, open your chest, by so doing, you can go through it easier. But each and every person must find his or her own way of getting that rhythm. The next question we have is, is there anything I can do at work and in training to make climbing easier? Firstly, at work, taking the stairs, making sure you don't sit for prolonged periods without taking a walk. During your lunch break, using the opportunity to take a, a walk around the block will keep your fitness up. In training, on your usual run, when you come across a hill section, repeat it a few times. Take a trot up and down. Try increasing the speed at which you do it, alternating a, a fast climb and a slow climb. All of these things ultimately will lead to a stronger climber and a more enjoyable run.